What's going on, everybody? Today we're doing something just a little bit different. We're going to be looking at the homes of a few of the, some would say, top comedians or comedic actors in America. There's a lot of them. It's, as you see, here's uh, said the Entertainer, then you have Tracy Morgan. So all these aren't stand-up comedians that I'm, that I'm doing these on. Some of them are just, again, as I stated, comedic actors or comedic writers, you know. So Niecy Nash right here. Everyone loves Niecy Nash. So we're going to just look at a few photos from houses that they either currently live in or once lived in. All in Wayans from the famous Wayans family. All right. And Mr. Jordan Peele. Jordan, while he does horror, he was on Key and Peele. Y'all remember that? Anyway, take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will be right back with just a, a quick glance at the home of some of America's greatest comedy actors, stand up comedians. Okay, so first we're looking at the home of Niecy Nash. You guys know Niecy Nash. Many remember her from Reno 911 and so many other things she's been on as well. Well, this house that we're getting ready to see right here was located in Bell Canyon area of uh, California, uh, outside of LA. And she actually sold this house at the end of 2019. Um, very beautiful. I really, really love this home. It's a Mediterranean. Um, and she sold it for $2 million. It spans over 5,800 square feet, has six bedrooms, and six and a half baths. What do you guys think of this house? Hmm? It looks like it's on a vineyard to me. Look at look, nice views. Inside is nice, low ceilings, though. Decorated with the purple. She likes purple. I wonder if that's her favorite color. I bet it is. But yeah, what do you guys think of this house? Ooh, nice kitchen. I can't complain. Nice, huge island. You know, I love a nice island. Interesting backsplash over there behind that very nice range. Next, we have Mr. Cedric the Entertainer. Everybody knows Ced the Entertainer. Said he was on the Steve Harvey show. He was, he's one of the kings of comedy. This home was located in Florissant, Missouri. Florissant, Missouri. Um, my understanding is it's still his main residence. Inside, it's a traditional home. It's um, has a pretty somewhat extravagant entrance. You see, there's stairs that go up, and then also looks like there's stairs that go down as well. The kitchen it can use some updating, but I'm sure they've probably done the upgrade since they've been in the house forever. Um, these pictures might be a little dated, of course, but interesting. In the back is it's a pretty big old house. Now, this is just his Missouri house. This is not he. He's had a house in California. Probably still has houses in California. It's just as one in Missouri. Tracy Morgan needs no intro. SNL, you know, among other other shows and movies. Tracy Morgan got a huge, huge payday when he was hit by Walmart truck, and he purchased this Alpine, New Jersey house for fourteen million dollars, cash money, according to reports. Cash. And then he, his wife filed for divorce a little bit. Some one of them filed for divorce. He got divorced anyway. I like very grand entrance. Look at those stairs, very regal. Got the columns over there. Um, kitchen, I, I like, I normally don't like that light wood kitchen, but this looks good to me. I think it matches the home, especially with the double doors opening out to it looks to be a patio that probably wraps around. Decent decent uh, living room with nice fireplace here. Of course, they got the old built-ins there, but hopefully he's done some upgrades. This home also has a bowling alley that we don't see here, but yeah. Next, we have Maya Rudolph, another SNL cast member, Saturday Night Live. You know, she plays Kamala Harris on Saturday Night Live. Now, this, she purchased the Sherman Oaks home for $2.6 million. Very nice. Ooh, very family friendly backyard there. I love that. It has a lot of character, don't it? doesn't it? Lots of character. Now, this kitchen needs a little help. It's old school. I love the counters. Those countertops are amazing. Um, oh, well, I, and I like the, the fireplace too. That's nice as well. I like this room. I feel this home has this home has old school charm, but a new school feel. 
and a very relaxing outside area that I would truly enjoy and get some writing done. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this one? Marlon Wayans needs, needs no introduction from the famous Wayans family. Well, he dropped $5.3 million on this modern farmhouse in Encino, California. Home spans over 5,000 square feet. Doesn't look like it to me right here, but I guess they say it does. If that's what it says, I'm going to go with that, all right? <laughs> it's a very modern home. Boom, look at the, the fireplace. Breathtaking fireplace. Beautiful uh, uh, bar here and uh, the wine. That right there, is that onyx behind the fireplace? I don't know, but that sells the house. I want it. I'll take it. I'm sure what that room is over to the left. I wonder if it's a theater or something. It even has a pool out back, and then that farm style, I can I definitely see it right here. It looks like this home um, should be in Hidden Hills. Mega producer of Candyman, us, them, <laughs> get out. <laughs> I don't know if them is one, but we, we, yeah, whatever. Y'all know Jordan Peele. He dropped $2.7 million on this home in, in Los Feliz area of Los Angeles. Old home, um, built in 1938, 2,100 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Old school home, but preserved well in a very um, historic area, Los Feliz, very, very popular area, um, which a lot of celebrities have homes over in this space as well. I love this little outside area where you can kind of see out. That's beautiful. I love it. I don't mind it. All right, and that's it, guys. Now, I want to know from you which home, which celebrity, or which comedian home did you like best of the ones that we saw today? Put your answer in the comments below. I might shout you out in a future video. If I had to choose, just based on what they perhaps have done to it since they've been in it or did to it when they were in it, I go. I like Tracy Morgan's home in New Jersey. I really like it. I love the exterior. It, you didn't see it, but there's a bowling alley in the home as well, which is nice. So I'm curious, which home do you like best? And all these homes I've showcased on the channel. So if you remember seeing the home in its entirety, its totality, if you will, you can go back and check it out. Then answer in the comments. Um, but I want to know, which home did you like best? I think that's all. I think that's it. I think we're done. I'm Lamb, the Real Estate Insider. Till next time, peace out.